Hey there everybody, I'm Eclipse10, and today we are going to let's play the game Hellfire. The expansion for Diablo 1. Let's start things off with the intro. Okay? Shh. Quiet, it's the intro. That guy is the Dark Mage. And uh, Squid Face there, that's Necrawl. Okay, he's the main bad guy in uh, Hellfire. Okay, well, let's start by showing off the new class, the Monk. Okay, and a little self promotion here. Uh, Clan Pest, yeah, I am the founder of Clan Pest. It's going to be mainly Diablo 3 clan, but whatever. I dabble in Diablo 1, as you see, and Diablo 2, maybe eventually. Okay, this is the monk. One of the very first notable features is the town jog. Yes, no more of that slow-ass walk. But if you miss the slow-ass walk, you can even slow it down if you wanted to for some strange reason. So let's go demo some gameplay of the monk here. Let's see. Oh, the Slain Warrior. We didn't see him in my Diablo Let's Play. Um, I don't think he's gonna make it. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. You led us down here to find the lost prince. The, the bastard! bastard! Trap. Sorry. Now everyone is dead. Cussing video games, it gets me going. The Especially butcher. these old video games. Avengers. Not a lot of cussing find back then. And slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Yeah, but just one question. Oh shit, he's dead. Here we can hear the voice. Your death will be avenged. That doesn't sound Your very Asian to me. Your death will be avenged. That's more like it. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. <laughs> okay, so the monk is uh, his main weapon is a staff. You'll probably want to stick with staffs if you're going to use a weapon at all. He can hit up to three enemies at a time with the staff. He can also block with his staff. And uh, your primary, what you're going to upgrade when you do, or I mean what you're going to put points in, is mainly dex with this character. God damn, went the wrong, went right to a dead end, very first thing. There is no jog down here in the dungeons, only in town. But that's okay, it's, it, just having it in town is enough. It truly is. Okay, another feature, his uh, character skill is the search skill, okay? Let's uh, find something, okay. You cast a search skill, and there you can see it highlights it up. It also shows up on the mini-map as blue squares. And it's just so much easier, you can see there's a potion over there. Okay, um, and it does stack, meaning if you cast in multiple succession, it will last a lot longer than just casting it one time. Other characters in the game can get the same skill uh, through reading books, or there's also scrolls. Another new feature is the oils in Hellfire. Like this is the oil of accuracy. Increases a weapon's chance to hit. So if we use it on our staff, it increased it by 1% to hit. Now most most of these oils are only temporary, but some are permanent. Like the ones that raise your, um, your weapon's durability, those are permanent. Okay. If we could get the enemies lined up right, we could show off his triple strike thing. Gotta get them lined up right though. There. Killed three of them right there. Okay, also a neat thing he does is he does a pretty good bare hand spider, although he uses his feet. How does my sandal taste, little man? Yeah, he's a kicker. And he'll even use his hands his hands to block with. There, he blocked his ginormous hands. Look at those hands, they're huge. It's like he got stung by a bee or something. 
swelling up on me. Oh shit! Got killed by a barrel. Yeah, so that was the monk. Um, I suggest playing him. He is pretty fun. Like I say, use a staff, maybe with the staff of haste, fastest attack, or go go bare hands and uh, kick your way to victory. But I'm gonna play my character Mortai. He's a levy level 40 sorcerer. We're gonna start a new game on hell difficulty. And this is my guy. What I did, I leveled, I made a character on Battle.net on regular D1 and leveled him up to level 30, a sorcerer. And then you change the, um, there's a file in your Diablo folder then, right? I, th I think it says like single 01 die. I think it's SV is the extension on that. If you want to, you can move it to your Hellfire folder. Just add an H to it, so it's HSV, and it'll show up. You get to transfer all of your gold, all of your experience, all of your spells, but none of your items. So what I did, I transferred the character over. I was level 30, brought all of my spells, gold, and experience, but I had to start over and find all of these items. And I'll show you what I've found so far. Also, I'm... Um, I brought it in at level 30, I got 10 levels, now I'm level 40. You can see I've maxed out my strength and my magic. And here's my items, okay? I bought this ring from Wirt. Resist fire 57 plus 14 to all attributes. I bought this from Griswold. Serpent's ring of the Zodiac, mana plus 32 plus 17 to all attributes. Let's see, I think I bought, maybe I found this. Um, just in the first couple levels there. Yeah, resist all indestructible so I don't have to pay to repair it. I think I bought this from Griswold. Resist all plus 21 plus 18 to all attributes. I'm just using Arcane's Valor mainly because of the fastest hit recovery. I like having that. I did find the Dream Flange, one of the best weapons for the, for the Sorcerer, plus 30 magic, plus 50 to mana, resist magic, plus 50, plus 20 light rays. Spells are increased one level, that's the biggie right there. And I'm using a Thinking Cap, another nice, nice thing for the uh, Sorcerer. Mana plus 30, spells are increased two levels, resist all plus 20, altered durability, it comes with a durability of one out of one. You have to use either Hidden Shrines or Oils to increase the durability. Now, you're going to find a lot of blacksmith oil, and it says it repairs like 20% of items durability, but if you use it on a fully repaired item, it will increase it plus one permanently, okay? So that's that. That is that. Holy crap, that was a mouthful. Okay. <sighs> on to some of the newer content of the game. Hold on. First, I'm going to empty out some of my gold here. No reason to carry all of this with us. So yeah, you remember my original Diablo Let's Play was a challenge run where I played through just one single game. But this is a good example of if you play through multiple games, whoops, whoops, move over, then you're going to level your character up even more. You're going to find a lot better items and everything like that. Also, before I get too much more started, let's look at our skills. Some of the new skills are you have the ability to read books of Apocalypse. In Diablo, they were only available in scrolls, as well as books of Nova. In Diablo, they were only available as scrolls. Um, some of the new spells are Lightning Wall, just like Firewall, except Lightning Wall. Immolation Spell, which shoots out a, a bunch of fireballs in a ring around you. Warp Spell, which warps you to the nearest exit. Reflect, which... Um, Reduces physical damage as well as reflects the physical damage back onto your attacker. Berserk, it makes um, the guys attack each other. Ring of Fire, just cast a Ring of Fire around you. And then the Search spell, and that's that. Also, I need to set my hotkeys. This is how I set them. Mana Shield is a must for a Sorcerer. Every time you enter a level or leave a level, you're going to have to recast Mana Shield. This is Lester the Farmer. He's a new non-player character character. If you talk to him before your level, before you clear 
level 8 and go to level 9 or before you're level 15 he'll just say like oh come back when you're stronger but once you're uh, above that then he'll say this so you're the hero everyone's been talking about perhaps you could help a poor simple farmer out of a terrible mess at the edge of my orchard just south of here there's a horrible thing swelling out of the ground I can't get to my crops or my bales of hay, and my poor cows will starve. The witch gave this to me and said that it would blast that thing out of my field. If you could destroy it, I would be forever grateful. I do it myself, but someone has to stay here with the cows. Oh, well, I guess I'll do it, man. You bastard farmer. Oh, by the way, guys, I do know about the extra quests, like the uh, the Jersey's Jersey, and and there's also two more characters you can play, the Barbarian and the Barb, and I'll show you that more towards the end of the Let's Play. For now, we're going to do this. So this thing here. So remember in the intro movie, there was the Dark Mage, right? Well, the story goes that he used to hang out around the edge of town by the cemetery, and people saw him. One day, somebody saw him, like, get sucked down into the earth, you know, because he's doing all that dark magic shit. Uh, a little time went by, another passerby saw, saw the same dark mage reappear with some kind of, I don't know, nastiness on him, and he ran across town, ran across the river, and collapsed right here on this spot. And years earlier, a meteorite also hit this spot, okay? Well, whenever the mage collapsed, this thing here formed with this hard dome thing, whatever, it's nastiness. This part of the game here really does not fit with the Diablo universe, but whatever. That's awesome. Down to the hive. We have long lain dormant, and the time to awaken has come. After our long sleep, we are filled with great hunger. Soon now we shall feed. <laughs> okay, that's really annoying. First thing, mana shield. Second thing, reflect. And then we're going to stack um, a bunch of search spells, so that way we can see what's all around us. Yeah, just cast several, because uh, it will wear off rather quickly. If you cast several like this, you probably won't have to cast anymore. Okay, and now let's move out. We get to demo some skills and the power of the sorcerer. Now, I've never played through this on Hell, so I don't know what the resistances of things are going to be or anything. I've played through it on Normal and Nightmare easy enough. But I've never actually played through this part on Hell. Difficulty. So you can see it's very organic, very insecty. If you've never seen the Hellfire expansion, I think you're in for a treat. It is very visually nice. You know, the death animations, still very nice. The monsters are definitely creepy. Definitely uh, puts your mind to D2 a lot. Because like the developers, there were several developers from Blizzard that worked on the game, but Blizzard would rather just deny this game's existence, to be quite honest. Well, I, my mouse is fucking up a little there. I think we're back to normal. I love these guys. Great, great death animation. Just cause, ugh. All kinds of new enemies. Two headed freaking Siamese twin things. Oof, the squeaking is horrible. Those ants. Get out of here. You can see everything glowing there and just shows up on the map, like I said before. And my mouse is still fucking up a little bit. Yeah, so we're, it's been a little bit long time to see, guys. I've been thinking about getting a, uh, there my mouse is back, a new computer. Okay, I went to record a uh, Mario ROM hack, and it got desynced, and then nothing has gone right since. It really is slow now, recording, and it just got me thinking, man, I really do need a new computer. This thing is like 11 years old. 
it's just outdated, you know. I could really use a dual, at least a dual processor, if not a quad core, uh, for recording, you know, get some more memory and all that kind of stuff. Maybe even a capture card, but but I could even get that later on. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But if I get a new computer, then I'll, I'll be able to do things like Diablo 2 and and a lot more video games, and just a lot better quality. I'll be able to use a lot more tools and not just be stuck with one recording method. So, let's hope. Let's hope. I, I think I have the money. It's just a matter of trying to decide exactly what I want and everything. I'm very indecisive. We're going to go ahead and clear out the whole thing, I guess. Oh, we have teleport. Look at this. How nice is this? Man. If only my warrior had this ability. Whoops. Teleported right down. Oh, well. It's time to go down anyway. Like I say, recast mana shield. Recast this. And recast search. The search spell definitely could have been improved. You know, maybe just casting it once would have been enough. But no, let's cast it a few hundred times, because that's what they want us to do. Okay. Oh boy. There's what, four levels to this? Also, uh, I'm under an experimental thing with YouTube that's going to let me upload videos that are just a little bit longer than... Uh, hold on, real life is calling me. Hello? Okay. Nobody important. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that's gonna let me... YouTube's uh, let me upload videos a little longer than 10 minutes. So I'm not sure how long they can be. So I'm just gonna keep recording. If I had to split this in a, in a funny place, then I apologize. But I'm just gonna record because I have no idea how long they can be or anything. Yes, fireball. Look, look at that. If you remember my, if my warrior, his, well, for one, he casts a lot slower, and his fireballs are like super slow. Now the fireballs get faster. With um, let's let's show off some of the new spells too. Maybe you guys haven't seen some of these new spells. Well, let's clear. Ew, yuck. Okay, let's uh, show off the, the immolation. Oh yes! Sweet, huh? It is a nice spell. It does a little less damage than Fireball, but that's one reason because Fireball is bugged and the splash damage does as much as the normal damage. But this shoots fireballs in all directions, so as far as area of effect, this one hands down wins. Resist fire and lightning. Nah, it doesn't resist it enough though, huh? Yeah, I love the death sound of those things. Cause boop, they sound like... I mean, they sound hollow, and they look kind of hollow, and uh, they, they sound and look exactly like they should, and they die. I love it. I mean, they, the enemies in this game, or in the expansion of Hellfire, I actually like. Like I say, this, this whole hive concept doesn't fit very well into the Diablo universe, but whatever. It doesn't all have to be good. Oh, let's see. Also, I got these things. These are runes. These are just traps. Kind of like uh, the assassin in D2. You get to lay traps. Here, that's the ring of fire spell. Okay, so this is where teleport comes in very handy. Okay, let's lay a trap here. Oops. Inventory. Whoops. Inventory. Let's just... Wait, wait. Where'd the trap go? I don't think it landed because oh god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Everybody just back away. Okay, so that's you can lay him on the ground though. I'm trying to lay it on the ground. There, you see it? Now let's see if we can get somebody to step on it. It's that cube thing. There, they stepped on it. See? Booby trapped. You know, what it's kinda low level stuff. You know. Here's another one. 
that. See, if you get if you're getting hit while you're casting, it doesn't finish or whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. This is chain lightning, one of the best lightning spells. You can also use it to kind of tell where the enemies are at because it's going to target your enemies. So I can tell that there's enemies in those directions. Okay. All right, mummies. These are kind of these are my least favorite things. They're pretty tough. Well, not for my fireball, of course. But otherwise, they're kind of tough little suckers. Let's go on down to level three. I am pretty over. Oh, I got interrupted. And our brood shall overrun the fields that men call home. Our tendrils shall envelop this world, and we will feast on the flesh of its denizens. Man shall become a chattel and sustenance. Oh, God. Nice dialogue, creature of the whatever you're going to be. Okay, mana shield. Reflect. And search, 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 search. Okay, a nice green palette now. Let's see, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. So these guys kind of have a cool effect, the little pentagram under them when they're shooting at us. Let's see, here's the Nova spell. Does pretty good lightning damage, just costs a lot of mana. Let's see, what else can we demo? Well, of course there is Apocalypse. Oh god. Ew, nasty. Uh, with, with the ability to read the apocalypse book, you know, like normally what the sorcerer had trouble with was tri immunes that are found in hell difficulty. There's some enemies like the soul burners and um, the advocate guys that they're immune to uh, lightning, fire, and magic, which made them very difficult to deal with. But apocalypse does physical damage, deals physical damage. So, uh, it's unstoppable. Nothing's immune to physical in D1. So, basically, the sorcerer is a badass mofo. Hands down. Well, these guys are immune to fire, obviously. Giant eyeball tentacles. See, this stay, the enemies in this part are very fitting. They're very weird and alien. As is the hive. Just like pods. That's just nasty. Squishy. Ew. Okay. And with the advent of teleport, you know, I don't even have to edit out my walking now. I can just zoom right over here. Keep the action live. Oh, freak me, man. That's, 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 I assume that they're immune to lightning. Scorpion things. We're gonna. I am gonna have to make a town here, though, because I need more mana. Oh, there's a lash worm. We haven't seen that thing yet. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. We can use this elixir of magic even though we're Hey, there's that guy. There he is. He's a hork spawn. A hork spawn. Okay, Mr. Hork spawn. Uh, Mr. Hork spawn, could you please hold still? Thank you. Oh, crap. We're not going to have enough mana. Oh, got him. 
He drops a high-end amulet. That amulet can spawn with any prefixes and suffixes in the game. It can be very high. Whoops, I did not pick up the amulet. God damn. There we go. Alright, let's go to town. Um, as soon as you blow up the hive thing with, that, with his bomb, you can come right back up here and talk to him. And he'll give you your prize. I heard the explosion from here. Many thanks to you, kind stranger. What with all these things coming out of the ground, monsters taking over the church and so forth, these are trying times. I'm but a poor farmer, but here, take this with my great thanks. Ah, well, you're welcome. And this is the Auric Amulet, or whatever you want to pronounce it as. And it lets you hold more gold. Doubles gold carrying capacity. See, normally you can only carry 5,000s, unless you carry piles of 10,000s now, okay? It is very handy whenever you're playing hell, because it is, there is a lot of gold, okay? Okay, restocked our mana potions, let's get going back down. Recast our mana shield and all this crap that we gotta do every single time. How much do we have left here? Well, I showed you the, the Hort Spork Spawn thing, Majigger. He's always on level 3. There's only one more level down. Ow, after this. Yeah, let's just go ahead. This is pretty well cleared. Let's go on down to level 4 then. Do not forget to cast the Mana Shield. You cannot cast Reflect, that's fine. You cannot cast Search, that's fine. But you better cast Mana Shield if you're a sorcerer. At least if you're a sorcerer like this. Because I did not put any points at all into Vitality. The only way I raised it was through Shrines or through um, Elixirs. Ooh. Missed me, missed me. Now you have to kiss me, big boy. What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Whoa, wait. Where is that guy? Hello, Mr. Lashworm. Oh, I see you do not like lightning. Okay, let's clear up another couple of things. Somebody, whenever I was playing, I told you guys you could control the Golem Golem guy, alright? You can control him. Yes, you can. Let's see. I want him to go this way. See, if I want him to go this way, I face this way. You see? If I want him to go down here... I want him to go that way, you face that way. No, now turn around and go this way. You see? He goes which way you're facing. You do have control over him. I knew I was not crazy. Okay? Go this way, go up. You see? He mirrors you. Okay? So you do have limited control over which way you go with him. Also, they tried to tell me that my Mr. Hydra build was not good. It is good. Hey, there's the Defier. He's supposed to talk to me. Well, there he goes. Well, that was the bad guy for the, um... Yeah. For the for the main guy down here, yeah, just just not a lot not a lot left to do. I think I'm just gonna go back to town. You pretty much seen all the enemies on this level. You saw the one bad guy. Um, so let's go back up to town here. As you can see, my my thinking cap is getting low. You gotta make sure to re repair because remember, if it goes to zero durability and breaks, the wow. item is just what gone for you? forever. You don't get it back. So make sure you keep stuff repaired. And let's take a look at uh, that nasty defiled guy. He dropped the cathedral map. It says, "Put me here." It looks like the cemetery by the church. I guess this is Tristram. There's the rivers, there's the fork in the river. Okay, well, let's follow the map as badly as drawn as it is. 
So actually where you're going is over here to the side. And this little gravestone was not in Diablo 1. Kind of, I see boobies. Okay, let's just throw that down. And that goes down to the crypt. And I believe that is where I'm going to stop it for this time. Next time we will do the crypt where we will fight Necrawl. Okay, until then, have a great day everybody.